here we go. Damn, dude. I've got it. He's done it! He's done it! 55. It was. What's going on Team Twitty? I hope you're all super well. I hope you're out there working hard. Yeah, you can watch my YouTube video, but make sure when this one finishes, watch till the end and then go out and train. <laughs> I don't want any of you leaving while you're watching. You gotta finish the video. So I'm heading off to sprint training now. I got my little player tracker so I can test my speed. I think that'll be interesting. I haven't taken it to sprint training in a while. And I thought, you know what, why not? What, I'm kind of interested to see what sort of speeds I can hit while you know, in a training environment. Game's a little bit different because you don't hit that top speed often. But we're gonna head down there now. I think Ben might be there, I'm not too sure. Also going and seeing Jay, he has, I, I don't know, no one would know what Jay actually does for work, so I have a reason to see him because he has to do work for me, which is kind of cool. But we're gonna see him after the sprint training, but we gotta go down and we gotta get to work, man. So let's do it. Just arrived down at the park. No Clayton, no Ben. I'm, well, I'm actually on time. Clayton's a little bit late, and I assume Ben isn't coming, so. While I wait, I'm gonna get my stretches done, get a little bit of a warm up, so that as soon as Clayton gets here, I'm ready to go into the session. Still wearing my X's, I was thinking about this in the car. Not going to be wearing the Nemesis until I get my grip socks, because if I wear these ones or any other sock, they're a little bit too loose and my foot slips around. When I get the grip socks in, the Nemesis I think could be the killer boot, but I'm not sure yet. I definitely need the grip socks for them. Because when I've worn the other grip socks, which are like this much too big for me, because they're the larger size, they helped a whole lot. They were just a little bit too big. So apart from that, oh, it's a nice day. Good day out, good day to get a bit of training in. There's a goal there. I don't know what that one's doing, but yeah, let's get this sprint session in. He's done it! He's done it! 55. It was. Right, session with Clayton done. Now quickly heading off to see Jay. I'm interested to see what you guys think, what you see Jay does for a job. Anyway, we're gonna head there now and I'm like one minute away, so we'll see him soon. I've been thoroughly misled. I thought Jay was a lot more qualified than he actually is. <laughs> We I'm got a mechanic, guys. <laughs> like, okay, so I had some problems with my car. What, the lights were out? Yeah. I have an indicator out. Yeah, on and the side. Yeah, we got that fixed. Yeah. But I thought Jay was going to be the guy who no, fixed mate. it for me. He didn't have a clue. No, <laughs> well, you did have a clue. I had a clue about what clothes <laughs> weren't working, but yeah, no. I had no clue about but it. But he's, help, he's helped me sort it out. So, what do you do here all day? Self spare parts, mate. Woo! Yeah. You enjoy it? It's good fun. Yeah, it's not that hard in the family business. So. Right. Yeah. And you trained last night. You played twenties on the weekend. Yeah. I've spoke with him. Uh, you know, there's a few players that you know haven't been playing many games recently. Yeah. And like before you actually came to Para. Yeah. How many? What were you playing? I only played. I hadn't played a full ninety in about six months. There you go. So. So you know you can't really expect to not play and then get a first grade. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have been fit enough to begin yeah. with anyway. So. But I definitely think. You know, once you get fit, we'll be there. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so that's the aim for you. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But in the 20s, you're a makeshift center back. I know. How are you finding that? Five foot 10 center back, mate. Wow. Nah, it's all right, because the guy that's next to me, uh, he's quite tall, so he kind of takes the right lead and I sort of cover for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Line. So it works quite well. Oh yeah, I've seen people comment about center backs you know, can you be a centre back at 5'10, 5'7, whatever? Yeah, yeah. It's about, like, what would be your advice? Uh, I think you definitely can. 
but it does help to have someone that is taller right. with you. So you don't think it would be difficult to have two five foot sevens? It would be very difficult. Yeah. To have two so you need like a five foot ten, and you know you need someone with you there. Well, I also have to think like Fabio Cannavaro. Well, he was like five foot six, and he was wow. Ballon d'Or winner. The only centre back to ever win Ballon d'Or, mate. Jeez. So, yeah. Well, there you go. And you know, if you're not that big. You have to use your other strengths. Yeah, yeah. So you're yeah. stronger. Yeah, you're stronger than other players. You know, you have to have the ability to play out. These are the other things that yeah. you know you have over those taller players. Yeah, definitely. So it's looking good. Hopefully soon, get on that same field. Yeah, be good. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, work, guys. I gotta go. <laughs> I got home time. <laughs> right, so I say I've come home, but it's working when I get home. Steps, it's it's coming to the business end of things where things are getting very serious. I've been working on packaging today. I spent an hour and a half yesterday working on this sort of special thing. And now that special thing is not a special thing and something else is a special thing. So I don't know, things are going here, there and everywhere, but it's a lot of work. I love it. Oh no. <laughs> There is something, this happened last time as well. This milk, oh dearie me. All right, have a look at this. So this milk right here that I picked up and I use in my smoothie, for some reason, it decides to then flood onto the floor and everywhere in here. Oh, yuck. I don't understand. It's the same milk bottle. I guess I won't be getting that one again, but I also was just down the street putting the rubbish out and I saw Alex Hayes. If you guys don't know him, he has his own YouTube channel. Great guy, great friend, but I was putting the bins out. I look at this guy going up the hill. And I'm like, far out. He was on an electric skateboard and I was looking at him going, whew, this is sick. And he's getting closer and closer. I go, oh, it's Alex. What the hell? So I jump on his electric skateboard. I swear to God, I nearly went down the hill. So there's like two versions. We got a pretty steep hill out there. So there's one which puts you in reverse and there's one that puts you forward. And I accidentally went in reverse and nearly lost his skateboard, but also nearly lost myself down the hill. But it was good fun. Anyway, I didn't clean this up. I don't know what's going on with this dumb milk. Ugh. Right, so that's a little wall juggling session that I've done, completed. Good to get a few little touches on the ball. A couple of things I didn't record, the player tracker, the speed at the session with Clayton, because I am a bit fatigued, and that's why I haven't gone out today and done, you know, a sort of intense session at the park. I've got gym tomorrow, team training the next day, and then Friday with Jonah, Saturday game. Need to look after the body. It's super important because at the end of the day, all of this training, it's for game day. And there's no point fatiguing yourself for that game day. So look, it's still good, 15, 20 minutes. That's 15, 20 minutes I wouldn't have done. It's very light, it's fun. Man, that last one I did, tough, not easy. Give that one a try, let me know what you guys get. But I need to have a shower, Lucy's coming over real soon. Finished that session a while ago. Lucy's come over, hello. <laughs> She's actually wearing, this was, what, this was the first brand I ever started, and it's called Beneath the Barrel. What, like, that's the logo. Mm -hmm. What do you take away from it? Because me. Well, have I told you what it means? Uh, not really. Uh, well, what do you take away from it? Um, I don't know. Cool. <laughs> it's Beneath basically the there's a hand there, and then there's a wave, and we're all kind of like looked after by each other and. Oh, yeah. So if anyone wants a million dollar idea, that's that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I sold, sold like five t-shirts. Oh. But yeah, it wasn't great. Well, you live and you learn. Yeah. That's why Stabs is going to take over. <laughs> <laughs> now, we had dinner, we had a burger, but you finished, well, not f you're half finished. Exams at university, uni. Mm -hmm. I've got two down, two to go. How are you finding all the study? Take us through it. Uh, it's draining. <laughs> I'm a bit over it at this point, but I know I've got to do it, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's tough, isn't it? It's not yeah. ideal. But, but it's good that it's tough, because it's what it's like in the real world. Wow. And for anyone that doesn't know, what are you studying today? Uh, I'm doing psychology and primary teaching, but right. I, I would think that I'll end up doing primary teaching. I wouldn't want to do that, but that's me. <laughs> that's why there's a million jobs in the world. <laughs> anyway, we gotta go take Spencer out. There he is, doing his business for all everyone watches. 
<laughs> Don't cover him up. We gotta expose him. On our front lawn, he just decides to, you know, let it rip. Oh, it stinks as well. <laughs> Doggy. <laughs> and then he does another wee. He loves life. Look at him. <laughs> right, so that's it for the vlog. Luce doesn't want to be on camera. Heading off to bed. Got a game analysis video for you guys tomorrow, so that's something to look forward to. And then a Jonah video, and then a game day video. So the next few days, banging vids are lined up. But for now, Team Tweeting, I'll sign out. Make sure you like it. Subscribe. Now, you change any else. See you in this video. Bye.